It looks like the pencils are made in Indonesia, the eraser in Malaysia, a pencil bag and pencil sharpener in China, and it's packaged in Taiwan. Hey there. I'm Peter Tompkins. Do you wish you could fulfill your dream to be an artist? I'm an award-winning documentary film director, as well as a fine artist, author of over 150 songs with over 30 years of experience as a guitar player, performer, and 15 years as a photographer. I'm going to show you how I made my dream come true, so you can too. Hey there, everybody. This is my review of the Faber-Castell Graphic Sketch Pencil Set. This is a 12 pencil set. And these are very, seriously, these are reliable, dependable drawing pencils. They're bonded to the wood and their lead breaks infrequently. It looks like the pencils are made in Indonesia, the eraser in Malaysia, pencil bag and pencil sharpener in China, and it's packaged in Taiwan. It must be how they keep their costs down. But honestly, I bought these pencils thinking they were for portrait drawing. These are really more for drafting and illustration pencils. They're a different type of graphite, and you need to sharpen these in a pencil sharpener. That's why they provide the pencil sharpener and a white eraser. This is a nice eraser, but it's designed for more smooth drafting paper, as opposed to drawing paper for portraits that has a tooth or an edge to it, or a texture to it. You know, it's just your basic pencils. Um, 4H is the hardest one in the stack of all the pencils, and it has a thinner lead. So the harder the lead, the thinner the thinner the piece of lead inside. And then the softer the lead or the darker, the thicker the piece of lead inside the pencil. And it's all bonded to the woods and hard to break. This is your 4B, even though my, my GoPro's a lot of focus there. That's your 4B pencil. And I rarely have ever have ever broken lead in one of these Faber Castell pencils. Now I'm gonna do a little show you an example of the gradients and how each pencil looks on paper, depending on the thickness and the hardness and the softest lead. 6B is the softest and the darker lead. 4H is the hardest lead. So you traditionally start at HB, which is like a number two pencil. And the higher the number to the left of the B, the softer the, le the lead. And the higher the number to the left of the H, the harder the lead. So. H is hard, 2H is harder, 4H is, is hardest, or 6B is your softest. And each one gives you a lighter shade, lighter gradient as you draw. Now here I'm doing a, a drawing of a piece of pottery. And I've already started, but I just want to show you, you know, using the different pencils, how easy it is to draw something with, with the Faber-Castell sketch pencils. Again, these pencils aren't designed, these are more illustration pencils or graphic design pencils. They're not meant for portrait drawing. And I didn't know that. I just kind of grabbed them off of an Amazon, off of the Amazon Faber-Castell website. You can use them for portrait drawing, but these are, these pencils, I usually buy pencils where you can cut the wood with an X-Acto knife and you shave the wood away from the lead. But with these, you can't do that with these. The, it's not designed to cut that way. This is a shading pencil this is just like a piece of um, it's like a fabric pencil to used to blend the graphite on the on the drawing paper here I'm using the provided eraser to bring out the highlights I use Faber-Castell pencils because many years ago when I was a freshman in college it was fall semester or fall quarter of my semester our drawing teacher in drawing 101 his name was Bob Borchard he came into the room and at the beginning of every drawing class they give you a list of supplies they want you to buy so you can draw what kind of tablets, what kind of pencils, what kind of erasers. And he said, class, you should go out into the world and buy Faber-Castell drawing pencils. And it was done. And there was much rejoicing. And I've always used them ever since. I've never, I've tried other pencils, but these pencils are good. They're, they're inexpensive. They're reliable. The lead doesn't break. And they create great tone on the paper. Great tone, great gradients. And I think you really, really enjoy these pencils a great deal. I think they'll really help you with your creative process. If you like my videos, give me the thumbs up. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Pete Tompkins. Have a good day. Bye.